Shout outs to everybody in the chat. Shout outs to y'all home. So blank boy, shout outs to you. When the Avengers had a civil war at the airport. So without further ado, let's get into this damn video, y'all. Let's do it. So it starts off with Captain America being tied up by Spider-Man. Free Big Stevie, my son innocent. But Hawkeye is able to cut him loose. As Iron Man puts on his helmet, now he's spooked. Can't let these motherfuckers catch me lacking. This is when Black Panther pulls up on Cap. Steve is a white man from the 1920s. He's 100% racist. Back oh. <laughs> wow. It's only 18 seconds into the vid, gang. He said, no, he didn't. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, this man was in the 1940s. During a, a different type of time for us, melanated people. And gets and, and gets thawed out and, is, and he sees he seeing niggas, he probably he probably he probably did he probably did think that. I ain't gonna lie with you. Up on cap. Steve is a white man from the 1920s. He's 100 percent racist. Back in his time, black people weren't allowed education, so he better defeat Black Panther the only way he knows how. Read, nigga! Read! No! He shows off his vertical wall. <laughs> Yo, this is funny. Oh, shit. Wow. Triple kick, which all get blocked. But wow. the entire time while that's happening, Ant-Man is over here showing off his riz to Black Widow. What's good, Shorty? I'm trying to beat that ass up. Aren't you from the Avengers C-League team? And then kicks him in the dick. See, this is why you can't be taking advice from dudes. Motherfuckers be talking about, yo, bro, the worst she could say is no. Grabs his arm and twists it, but gets reversed, flipping her, putting her arm behind her back like she about to get arrested. This screenshot is crazy, dog. I know some of y'all meet on 100 right now, straight bricked up. Relax, gang. Really? <laughs> it's only not. <laughs> We're just about to make a minute into the vid. Relax. You nasty. nasty. She shoots Ant Man off of her, got my boy hitting that picture stance, while Spider Man is going after Winter Soldier and Falcon, which is crazy. Could you imagine getting pressed by a ninth grader? Embarrassing. <laughs> Spider Man swings in and pumps Falcon away. <laughs> turns and catches Bucky's punch like it's nothing. And look at his face, bro. He's in disbelief. He put his all into that punch. And Peter over here just twisting his arm like it's nothing while cracking jokes. <laughs> Luckily, Falcon tackles Spider-Man away. These two got no shame. They really double teaming a child. They heard a 14-year-old superhero was pulling up but thought it would be sweet out here. You don't got this watch right here? You a little boy to me. I'll kiss you on your forehead. You a little boy. They start fighting and wrestling in midair until Spider-Man is finally able to escape out. What we then what? transition back over to the original fight that was going on, where Iron Man is out here shooting missiles down at Hawkeye and Scarlet Witch. And there's two possibilities here. Either Bro is really just trying not to hurt them, or he copying Helen Keller's strategies because these missiles are crazy. I already Aww. know he be commenting under her IG pics. Oh no. <laughs> Wow, fuck. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. I'm just trying to get like you, big bro. We switch back over to Black Panther trying to get his lick back to Steve Rogers for segregation. But Steve is the weed nation president with all this dodging. But War Machine is peeping everything that is going on right now. And he's like, nah, fuck that. Black Panther going outside right now. I got to go get back for my fellow non-swimmer. Whips out the baton. This is for MLK, okay, nigga. And as Black Panther kicks his ass away, Rhodey charges in to finish off the lob that T'Challa threw to him, which Captain America is able to block just in time. So now we head back over to Iron Man, and he's out here full core pressing Wanda and Hawkeye. Hey, Wanda, Vision has a crush on you. That Tin Man nigga don't even got a dick. Damn, bro. Why Vision catching strays? He just minded his business somewhere, probably charging. Hey, Clint, sorry we had to regulate you. <laughs> catching strays. He just minded his business somewhere, probably. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. Not a <laughs> not a 
crazy. This is crazy. Holy charging. Hey, Clint, sorry we had to regulate you to the Avengers bench. We did get Spider Man. You'll regret it sending me to the Avengers Ugh. Junior High team. But then Hawkeye does the super unexpected, like KD having a good haircut, shoots off three arrows and misses all of them. So Tony naturally starts to clown his ass. But hold, hold up, up. wait, wait a, a minute. minute. Something right. right. That was all part of the distraction as Wanda starts making it rain vehicles on top of this man, crushing him at the bottom of it like a grape. The cameraman can't bear to see Iron Man out here getting folded like this no more. So we pan back over to Spider-Man who jumps out the way of Falcon's bombs and tries to swing towards him, but he got this man Falcon turning into a track star. Bro's just running away. Peter's spider senses start tingling and they save him from getting decapitated. Hey buddy, I think you lost this. Damn! Bro, what if Bucky didn't duck out the way? Peter would have caught a body. And y'all really I trying to would. convince me Spider-Man don't try to kill? He be holding back his punches? He put maximum elbow grease in that throw. Falcon kicks him in the back, but Spider-Man flips out the way and clips Falcon's wings, sending him hurling down. If Steve had known about him getting folded by Ant-Man and a middle schooler, he would have for sure took that shit back. Spider-Man then chain webs him up, no slavery. So oh shit. You really just have silk webs coming out of you? That white stuff coming out of me isn't silk, my boy. Swings in and double kicks them off the platform, webbing them both to the ground. Listen, guys, I love to hang around, but Mr. Stark down 3 1 in the series out there, so I gotta wrap this up. So now we back over to Black Panther and War Machine making an Oreo jumping Steve Rogers. Rhodey charging in just to get one shot at by a spinning backflip instantly. Weave into another spinning kick to the chest. Rhodey's weapon looks like the top of Patrick's head now, so that shit is Relax. close. And this is when Ant-Man pulls up with the assist, telling Cap to throw this truck at this device, which he does. And thank God this airport is completely empty for some odd reason. The truck was a propane truck. He could have sent everybody. This is... Imagine... <laughs> Imagine you you at the airport, you trying to catch a flight, you trying to get up out of there, you know what I'm saying? And then you look out the window of where the gate is at, and you just see all of this happening. How is it that miraculously this airport is just empty? What's good, Mac Diesel? How are you? How like imagine Im Im imagine that, bro? Like we've talked about this with with the Avengers during like the first Avengers, when they was it just in Manhattan and all the shit was going on and whatnot. Imagine living through something like that. Imagine just being at the airport and you just happen to see see this. Be like, damn, they really, they really, oh, them niggas getting it in over there. You just hear a whole bunch of just shots being fired and then like a whole bunch of like boom, boom you know what I'm saying? And like all that other shit going on, and you're just like, oh, looks like I won't be making my flight. <laughs> shit like this, bro. Like, damn. Body on fire, which is why Cap gives him that. Is this nigga serious? Look, after every MCU fight, they be on some yay, we saved the city. I know so Iron Man and Captain America yeah, got tired of having to post apologies on the gram after the every battle lost. they were in. Black Widow laid out like a mattress, and Rhodey talking about some. I now I'm pissed off. Ooh, oh no, War Machine is angry. He trying his absolute hardest to sound vicious. So Black Widow is like, yo, Team Iron Man is getting folded. And that's when Tony says this. Well, my plan was go easy on him. You want to switch it up? Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop I'm sick. Spider-Man nearly decapitated Bucky and War Machine whipped out a police brutality stick on Steve. Y'all have not been going easy. Why are you lying? Captain America's squad starts doing their superhero Baywatch run towards the jet to try to get out of here, but gets stopped right in their tracks by Vision. I don't know where y'all think you going. And then this- Ooh, yo, Mag with the nine months. Appreciate you. Look at your turtle. Get your little turtle bag. This is the moment. The moment where we get to see both squads squared off against each other. War Machine, Spider-Man, Black Widow, Vision, Iron Man, Black Panther facing off against Falcon. May I add it is that Black Widow sold at the end, but you know. Ant-Man, Hawkeye, Wanda, Cap, and Bucky. One side got Spider-Man and Black Panther, but the other side got Captain America, who I fuck with heavy. I was in the theater switching sides like a thought. I'm not gonna lie to you. Dude, pick a side already. 
Both squads start charging towards each other. 90% of Black Widow's teammates could fly and shit, and she's just out here running until they clash in the middle. And when they did, it was straight madness. Iron Man tries to dunk on Steve, but it gets blocked. Weave into a right hook. Falcon just up there flying, not doing shit. He that kid who gets the A just because it's a group project. Out here putting up Tony Snell numbers. Bucky punches T'Challa in the chest. Iron Man trying his best to throw hands with Kappa, but gets blasted away by an arrow. I'm not gonna lie, Iron Man been getting jumped all day. He did a horrible job recruiting. He way better than me. I would have called up the damn Justice League. Let Captain America try to shield the hit from Superman. He gonna look like Mojo Jojo after one lick. Black Widow tosses Ant-Man, <laughs> Spider-Man is ducking out the way of Wanda's attacks, and Black Panther rolls into an ISO versus Bucky. T'Challa been looking for this matchup all week. He still thinks it's Bucky who had him hitting the Simba from Lion King with his dad. Bucky hits him with a three-piece combo into a clean-ass recovery, and they got this cameraman putting in double OT, cause now we got Clint and Natasha beefing with sticks until he flips her onto her back. Starts pressing down while on top of her and shit, I already know what he's thinking. He never been in a position like this one. With her hey, hey yo hey yo grabs and tosses him with her legs but he gets saved by wanda in the end after this hit natasha Damn. for sure got that nba young boy forehead now straight dense in that hoe she not gonna let you hit low bro so now for some reason t'challa and bucky are just standing there choking each other until he tells him i didn't kill your father and t'challa responds well why did you run hmm let's see maybe because i seen a big brolic nigga in a cat suit chasing me i don't know i feel like anyone would be kind of confused and just run too like bro what you, what you want, want? <laughs> bucky chucks up two bricks and flips him into a spinning back kick got bro laid out on the ground he gonna need a revive he gets up from that ass beating and then out of nowhere black panther steps up to call gg but wanda comes in out of nowhere to save him throwing him 50 yards away i know shorty back her right now she been carrying the squad y'all was booing on draft was. night but captain america was 100 right to pick her with the number one overall pick spider-man swings in and gets his web cut by cap what's up gramps i was probably fucking your auntie back in the 60s peter wasn't gonna let this disrespect slide first steve now iron man they tell us the training my aunt this is sick webs up his legs pulling cap into a mean kick to the face i'm my son reaching for his back he getting too old to still be beefing with these young whippersnappers and these damn tic tackers and all that nowadays steve I know she's not carrying no more, and that's on. Babs, no. 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 Uh. Goes for his shield until Peter stops him with the webs. But this is straight weight room work right here, pulling him in. You too little, my boy. This is grown man strength. Falcon is flying around, got Tony's aim looking like prime Stevie Wonder, which they decide to use to their advantage, sending Scott on one of Clint's arrows. Tony, of course, misses shooting the arrow, allowing Ant-Man to land on top of him and climb in the suit. We go back to the battle of old versus young, LeBron guarding LaMelo on some shit, where Cap blocks the web and pulls Spidey into a nasty hit. Peter then decides to swing to the top, he trying to cheese the hide advantage. Mr. Stark told me you were trapped in a block of ice for years. I'm crying, this nigga think he the avatar. Steve not tolerating that disrespect, so as Peter backflips and swings towards him, he gets his shit kicked right back. I already know Tony gonna be disappointed watching this replay. For sure gonna be breaking out film with Spider-Man after this one. Cap knocks down the terminal so Pete is stuck. Had to teach you a lesson since your dad and uncle not here, kid. Not gonna lie, Spider-Man went out. No, no, that's low blows. That's low blows. <laughs> That's low blows. No shit. Sad, but he's still a rook in the game challenging a vet, so it's expected. Like, how do you expect a virgin to fare against Tiana Trump? Iron Man starts shooting at Hawkeye and he nah, starts getting confused because for some crazy. reason he's missing worse than usual right now. But we know why. It's because Ant-Man in there right now rearranging his guts. So Tony Sue being the <laughs> OP thing that... Yo, this <laughs> Because Ant-Man in there right now, rearranging his guts. So Tony Suit, being the OP thing that it is, starts airing out this bitch like a Roblox oh, server. And sends Ant-Man running out until he's blown out the suit. Ant-Man is tired of niggas playing with his body like he's not like that. So he decides to up the ante to let him know I'm really big Ant-Man in these streets, not the little one. Falcon kicks Iron Man out the way, and that's when Ant-Man throws Rhodey. And bro, look at this dude's vision, just watching this happen. Bro.
You know what? He's right. That nigga vision. <laughs> that nigga vision literally watched the whole shit and just decided to go ahead and take the one time it is he actually went ahead and be like, all right, let me go ahead, let me do something. And does the wrong thing. <sighs> Help us! Spider-Man flies over and is able to stop War Machine from blowing up into that plane. And this is how you know they really not trying to kill each other for real for real. Because Ant-Man could have given Rhodey that Loki versus Hulk treatment if he really wanted to. He kicks the bus at Black Panther and Vision steps in to stop it. As Cap and Bucky try to sneak past but T'Challa is like, Why are you running? And chases after them. Tony of course misses hitting Falcon so as he's chasing him, Vision had Windows 96 motherboard. It, it's gonna take him a minute. Stop. He has to hit the craziest juke to dodge this giant plane wing coming at him. He recognizes that Ant-Man is just out of his weight class. This is not a fight I can take. I wish Dylan Dennis came to this realization before taking that fight versus Logan Paul. Because Damn. instead, bro was in is there with blatant CTE trying to do takedowns in a boxing match. So he goes after Falcon and instead just eats straight metal to the face. Black Panther is still fully committed to killing Bucky, an innocent man that did absolutely nothing to him. Scott goes to grab him, but War Machine steps in with Spider-Man, who finally catches his first win in a minute. He swings all around Ant-Man arm and is able to kick the shit out of him as black panther and hawkeye are facing down below the year was like 2018 and dudes still out here using neolithic ass weapons like bow and arrow bro it's time to hang it up gang and we not retiring your jersey don't even remember your number hawkeye shoots two arrows which are just straight misses shoots two more and black panther just straight eats that shit like it's nothing that's straight baby food for him and hawkeye is like I'm in danger! <laughs> to which he sees Black Panther whip out the claws and decides it's a good idea to run the ones with him hand versus hand combat. He confident about it too. Bench players talking like starters and I hate it. Hawkeye starts to realize quickly that he's just not able to lay a hand on this man. There's levels to this. We then skip back over to War Machine and I'ma be honest, the directors are giving this man the Vegeta treatment. Homie is trying to daze Damn. Ant-Man and gets his shit rocked away mad quick. So he decides, man, fuck that and just goes after Cap and Bucky. But Rhodey can't have nothing out here, bro. They G-checking him every chance they get. Homie gets hit with a big ass piece of concrete by Wanda but manages to dodge out the way of the truck, luckily. While Spider-Man is being childish, trolling and shit, crawling all over Ant-Man and this is when Vision finally decides to sit up in his chair and contribute gut checking Scott manages to peep too that Captain America and Bucky are hauling ass trying to get out of here but he's not the only one who noticed it Black Panther did too so he gotta wrap it up with Bucky real quick he like hey man, this nigga trash breaks the bow and delivers a two-piece combo dipping out of there as Vision phases through Ant-Man finally showing us what Tony saw in the scouting report that made him even decide to draft bro he cuts down the building to block their entrance but Wanda comes in with that shot clock Jeez. Which was just enough for Cap and Bucky to make it through. They get inside and out of nowhere, Black Widow was in here somehow. And I'm confused as hell because when the fuck did this bitch get teleporting powers now? Right. Cap letting her know straight up. Listen, Natasha, I fuck with you, but these hands are rated E for everyone. Yes, I beat up bitches. Call me Chris Brown Jr. Black Widow betrays Team I- Oh. Oh my god. Iron Man stopping Black Panther in his tracks. Tony been pussy whipped by her since Iron Man 2. Shaking my head, man. A hey, boogie. Say the line. DTV for life. No, I can't trust my bitches. So they're able to get to the jet, but Iron Man still has a big problem. And they decide as a team to jack a move straight out of Star Wars. Stealing George Lucas's shit, you word for word, bar for bar. bar. Ties up Ant-Man's legs and already got him you tripping, stumbling, and comes through with the nastiest uppercut, knocking his ass clean out. Spider-Man's stupid ass was too busy celebrating like he just won a chip, and gets clipped in the process, crashing down. So now Scott is out of the fight, and so is Peter. Bro can't even stand up anymore. Poor Tony. <laughs> He is so desperate to finally catch a W out here. He's scared that Tony's gonna take away his suit if he doesn't make a play soon. So he goes after Bucky and Cap in the jet. While Vision is just down here fraternizing with the ops. I'm crying, bro. He, he ain't really even was. been alive for more than a year and he already trying to get his motherboard wet. So I heard you like me. Beeble, 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 beeble. <laughs> you know what? Ugh.
Oh my god, bro. That that is insane. We pan back over to the action where Tony and Rhodey are chasing Cap and Bucky, which is where Falcon pulls up sending bombs trying to stop them. So they get call his out his motherboard wet. because he got that built-in aimbot, the Steph Curry of robots. This should be easy money. Charges up his laser beam to shoot at Falcon but misses and hits War Machine instead. I didn't realize the friendly fire sliders were turned on in this server. War Machine starts barreling down from space. Iron Man tries to catch up to him to catch him, but it just ain't happening, so he crash lands. Falcon pulls up to apologize, but Tony not trying to hear any of that shit, blasting him away. And look at Tony's face, he's pissed. So this is where later on in the movie, he tracks down Cap and Bucky and decides to run his 2v1 on them, which I covered right here with my boy Codename Super on our joint channel. Enjoy. That'd be super. Oh my gosh, bro. Nah, that, that shit was crazy. But I heard it. I heard it is that you like me. E -oh, e -oh. <laughs> oh my god. Like I said, trying to get his motherboard wet. Yeah. But all right, yo. <laughs> yo, <laughs> this man, Blank Boy, is funny. That, oh my god. Let me. I'm hitting the I'm hitting the subscribe. <laughs> that nigga was funny. I was crying when he shot Falcon. Nah, that that shit that shit was crazy. Hey, listen, you know, Blank Boy, shout outs to you. Shout outs to y'all in the chat, and shout outs to you at home. I will catch you in the next video.